Hey guys, Bethany here. Welcome, welcome to your Monday Powerful and Empowerment Show. And as you can see, it's me. And where is Margaret today? Well, Margaret had to be with her family today and I was super excited to be with you to share another snippet of what you're in for for Thursday, okay? So today I'm gonna share with you one of Margaret's super powerful processes that she has um, that she'll should be sharing with you on Thursday, August 22nd, six super powerful hidden blocks to money, right? So it's gonna change and rock your world. I think it's one Eastern, there'll be a link right here where you can sign up. But I wanna take one of those for you today and just show you, give you a sampling of what this is like for you, how it can impact your life, okay? So ready to dive right in. So our hidden money blocks, right? Margaret is a genius at seeing what, with her engineer brain, uh, running this work through so many people and really seeing what the commonalities are and giving you a process to get to these blocks that you wouldn't normally see, wouldn't normally be able to get to, wouldn't normally know how to get to. And so, for example, procrastination, which is our, our one of our topics for today, procrastination. So one thing that we heard from one of our rock star clients, our year long clients, and it rocked everybody in the room, is what happens when procrastination turns into 10 years. It's so crushing, right? It's so crushing. And when it comes to your money blocks, there's one um, in particular <laughs> that, I mean, any one of these blocks can literally have your goals, your money goals, you know, the, the, the quality of life that you want to live. Any of these can have that really turning into that 10 years, that 10 years of procrastination. So one of them that Margaret will bring you through even more deeply on Thursday with the incredible training she's going to give you on the six hidden money blocks is your hidden agenda. And when you have a hidden agenda wrapped around a goal that you have, it can lead to anger, battle, procrastination, sabotage, right? This total sabotage, you know, the sabotage and that backlash. It's when you are doing great and take some steps forward and then uh, there's the crush, there's the step back, there's the one, two steps back. And again, we have seen it time and time again where that, that two steps backwards can actually continue going back, one step forward, two steps back, and then like the 10 years goes by and you're wondering, where did the time go? What happened? So we don't want that to happen to you, which is why we're always here with you on Mondays and why I strongly encourage you to sign up and be with Margaret on Thursday. It's going to blow your mind. So what is this hidden agenda? What is it all about? And your hidden agenda is when you have this goal, this incredible goal that you have, and maybe it's in your coaching business or in, um, you know, if you're an entrepreneur in your business or in your life, and you have this incredible goal, and then you start to take steps forward, but you have a hidden agenda. You have something else attached to that goal. So I'm going to give you some questions to really help you see what exactly does, you know, what do I mean by this? And you'll, you'll see from your own example. And I'm going to give you a few case study examples too. So you can see what we hear all the time and how powerful this hidden agenda can be. Because when you don't know it's there, you've got a lot of your own sort of personal emotion and feeling and and patterns and sort of junk attached to a, a very benign, neutral goal that you have. And when all of that gets connected and sticky and stuck to it, all of a sudden your goal has this whole new, <laughs> it's this whole new animal, this whole new thing that is like sort of clawing you and dragging you back and telling you, no, no, we're not doing this. And then you're wondering what the heck is wrong with you? Why is this happening? And the truth is, nothing is wrong with you. It's happening because of a hidden agenda. It's happening because of some stuff, some junk, some blocks that you have attached to this very normal, very wonderful goal that is probably very achievable, but yet seems utterly impossible, okay? 
Let me get to some questions for you. And then I'm going to share with you, and I'll, I'll look at my notes here, some case studies and just some examples of how this process have, has um, been run through some, uh, some of our clients and what are they feeling and what are they getting on the other side? And, and just to give you some examples of how powerful this can be, but you'll start to feel it in yourself. All right, so your hidden agenda. Um, so get a goal, you know, get some goal that you have and, and preferably maybe a money goal whether it's attached to your business or not. And let's just get that really clear and not even like a super outrageous, crazy goal, but just like a regular goal that you have. And just get really clear about what that is. Okay. So now that you're clear on your goal, I'm gonna ask you some questions. So when I get there, and this is your goal, when I get there, I will finally feel what? Just kind of fill in the blanks for that. We're going to have some real clarity and aha moments today. Real clarity and aha moments. So when I get there, I will finally have proven that I'm what? So what will you prove when you finally reach your goal? And if you have a pen and paper, you might want to write this down. Or if you've got your phone or some kind of electronic near, you can just sort of type it in. But your, the intention today is to get really clear about a hidden agenda that you might have. And I will have proven that they were wrong about what? So just answer, I will have proven that they are wrong about what? Again, this is all, so once you achieve this goal, what will you have proven? Okay, so there's some really great questions to start to clarify for you any hidden agenda that you might have on your goal, okay, and your goal that you have. So when you look at your hidden agenda and you see some of what's behind there, are you shocked and surprised by that? Now, here's the thing. If you worked at like a job, a regular job, maybe a job that you love and you've maybe had this experience and a challenge came before you and you had some goals there, you would typically get with your team and you would start to brainstorm or sort of figure out like, how do we get through this challenge? How do we get through this job, right? It's it's the company, there's a challenge, it's kind of thrown before everybody and let's brainstorm together, let's figure out how are we gonna move through this, right? And that's a typical process that happens, you know, when you work at a company, when you have a job. So what happens then when you start to work for yourself or it's a personal goal and you're an entrepreneur, or you're a coach, and you're trying to set goals for yourself, and you're typically by yourself, and you're at home, and you're looking at your goals, and now you're taking steps to achieve that goal to get closer, and then it doesn't go as planned. Now, in the other scenario, when you're with the company, if it doesn't go as planned, typically the team gets together, or you get together, and you look at it, and you're like, okay, that didn't work. We need to do something else. Like, let's figure this out. Okay. But when it's yourself, and now you have this goal with a hidden agenda wrapped around it, it becomes personal, it becomes emotional, it becomes every step back or every misstep is like a personal hit to your own psychology, to your you know mentality, to your brilliance. It's a hit to you in your core, in your soul, like you're not good enough and you're not powerful enough, you're not strong enough, all of these feelings start to bubble and to Every misstep proves exactly your hidden agenda. It proves exactly what you um, want to hear, right? Or what you've been hearing, what you've attached to that hidden agenda, all those feelings. For example, let's get to some case studies and you just see, you know, you're probably right along the lines of what our clients say all the time, because this is what we hear. It's so consistent. And that's why Margaret is so brilliant, because she takes these processes and creates these incredibly powerful questions that are like almost universal. Like everybody has this kind of hidden agenda attached and this is typically what we hear. So you'll know that you're not alone and you'll know that there's hope for you and we can definitely move through this. So, um, you know, we've had people sort of hearing like revenge, right? Well, you know, I would, I would feel like this is the best revenge, right? Against feeling powerless or burnt out or manipulated right? So that's what somebody would feel, right? When they finally get there, they're like, oh yeah, I'm like, it'll be like, I'm not going to feel powerless or manipulated or burnt out anymore. 
Um, another person that we had um, asked said, I will feel successful, like I'm enough and I'm credible. Like I know what I'm doing. We hear that one so often, like I know what I'm doing, especially if you're a coach or a consultant or a healer and you're transform, you know, you're bringing on incredible transformation. When you're working with, you know, your clients, you're probably feeling really good about the work you do. But when you, you might have naysayers, right? You've got family, you've got friends, potentially people who are naysayers. And that's what we're sort of battling against very often. Instead of just sort of, you know, this is my goal and I'm going to do it and it's amazing and it's totally what I want. There's this total feeling that, you know, we're battling against these naysayers. We're battling against, we're fighting against these people who just don't want us to succeed or are always seeing our faults or always seeing what's wrong with our plan. Right. And that is a big energy wrapped around a goal and you can hear it instead of just, yeah, this is totally what I want and I'm going to work towards getting it instead of battling or fighting or, you know, feeling bummed out against these people that just don't believe. We're always trying to prove ourselves, right? So that's another one is I like, I'm enough. I'm credible. I know what I'm doing. I'll feel validated. There's another one that comes up. So I'll feel validated. Okay. Like the validation that you'd wished and wanted and, you know, we're crying for as a child is still really, you know, um, sort of leaking through and eking through your life and it shows up in your money and it shows up in your goals. So here we are thinking that we're adults now <laughs> and we're fine. Everything's great and we're moving forward and we've got these adult jobs and these big dreams and this life that you want to live. Yeah, this anger in your childhood, this, this wanting of feeling validated, of feeling good enough, it's still following you today. Right? It's super frustrating. So we're wondering as you're trying to, you know, fulfill your goals and, and work towards them, and then you start to feel like more of a jerk. It's like, what is wrong with me? Why can't I just take this step forward? I generally, you know what to do, but we don't do it. And so it's not your fault. It is the carrying of these hidden agendas, of these beliefs, these patterns, this wanting, these needs that you wanted to be fulfilled and met as a child. And it's literally bringing them through all the way, you know, to where you are today. Super frustrating. And once you start to see that, you can have some major aha moments and then we can start to work through it. And then you can start to do some processes and start to work through that so that it's not, you know, carrying around this dead weight um, forever. It makes everything you do so much harder, right? Um, let's see. Um, another one, you know, sort of, it's sort of along the same lines, proving to parents that I am, you know, proving to them that I'm amazing, that I can do this, right? Um, and somebody else was saying, like, what do they keep hearing? It's like the hidden agenda is like from the parents, like, who do you think you are to, to want to be able to do this, to have this goal, right? Um, and then, you know, somebody else had said, well, I'm right about that. I'm right, that I'm right about healing, that I'm right about transformation. So you see how we're, we're with this hidden agenda, we can be proving constantly. Whereas again, in the job, it's just sort of like, yep, here I am, I'm doing this work, it's great. And I'm just, you know, you know, trying to find the solution. I'm problem solving here. It's like, I'm right, I'm right about healing. I'm right about transformation. I'm proving, proving, I'm validated, I'm right. That's a totally different energy when we're constantly fighting to be right. Then every misstep means, shoot, they're right. They're right about me. I'm not right. They're right about me. It's a hit right to the self-worth. It's a hit right to that validation. Um, nobody will control me is what somebody else had said. And somebody else said, I'll be able to tell my brother and my sister to fuck off. Right? And that is some of the feelings that come up. And maybe you've had something similar when you just did this one little clarity exercise. Right? It's like, yeah, when all that is wrapped around there, Every time we step back or every time there's that sabotage, it's like, oh, my God, here it is again. I'm t they're right and I'm totally wrong. It's such a hit. And the thing is, there's parts of you that are just sort of when you're in this, this fighting and this turmoil that are even afraid to, to take these forward steps. But even, even when you're taking these forward steps and it's like, a, like it's normal <laughs> For some reason, you know, we've taken this failure to mean something like traumatic and terrible and like I'm, you know, this, this, 
this jerk for not being able to, you know, for failing at something. When we fail or have a misstep, like that's a normal part of an exploration process. It's a normal part of achieving a goal. We do something, we try it, it works or it doesn't. It's very scientific. If it doesn't work, hmm, now what? We propose our hypothesis again, just like you would in the scientific method, and we start to take steps and like, let's try this and see if this works, right? This is what all the geniuses do. <laughs> this is what you know Einstein did, um, everybody, every one of the geniuses that you know, know of who proposed a question, they went through this method to try to figure it out. There's, oops, that didn't work, let's try again. But again, with this hidden agenda, pro I just want you to see how normal this is. <laughs> you know, you fail at something, it's normal. You know what didn't work, great. It becomes a problem when you keep doing what doesn't work again and again and again. But you know what didn't work, but now you try something different and eventually you're gonna work through it and problem solve using your intuition, your own genius, your own experience to find the answer, to move through, to succeed. It's a very simple process, but yet with our hidden agendas, there's so much emotion, so much wrapped around it that it becomes almost impossible. And that's when our sabotage and that's when our, our beliefs and our patterns can really start to hit that procrastination and it starts to become that 10 years. It's so frustrating. Now, you can see how it really hits you. And now with some of these you know, case studies, I want you to join Margaret on August 22nd so you can start to, now that you've got this aha moment and you can see, holy mackerel, like this is what's happening. No wonder I have struggled. No wonder I have had problems. It's like, of course, it's not just because I'm a jerk, <laughs> which you're not. And it's these kind of aha moments that you can start meditating. You can start seeing the pattern. You can start to set goals and start to see, oh, Here's what's wrapped around that, got it. Now I need to start seeing it and I can start taking different action and keep that forward momentum. And Margaret's gonna show you on August 22nd how to start to clear some of these money blocks that you have. So you've got some real incredible clarity today, some incredible um, insight and aha moments of what's really in the way for you, why it's in the way, and now what do we end up doing about it, okay? So seeing it and that clarity is like literally half the battle. And then once we see that, we can start to take some, like I said, some forward momentum in solving that problem so that it becomes a goal that is fun and achievable and that you work towards and it's not a hit you know to your gut or a hit to your self-worth every time there's a misstep okay because it's like that's not normal like we've set these expectations it's so crazy right it's so crazy um, but this is what we do to ourselves, and it's so punishing and you know what damn it you don't deserve it and this is about transformation and it's about getting you out there in a bigger way and feeling powerful and empowered Powered so that we can like change the world and if it's not the whole world if that's not for you change your life feel more awesome and amazing start reaching some of your goals start having the quality of life that you're looking for in your money and your family and in relationships and really start to by that be a light that can change others so there's lots of ways this transformation thing can happen so I look forward to seeing you on August 22nd 1 p.m. Eastern and you will have a link right here where you can sign up just give us your name and email that way we can let you know exactly when it's happening because we know it's very busy in your life and that you can show up and work with Margaret and you know share in some more of her genius and get way more ahas, more ahas and more of that clarity for you. All right, so I look forward to seeing you on August 12th.